Happy two years anniversary of Facebook, Mary Jarek. And in honor of this, I came up with a list of 30 of my favorite things about Eric. So we're going to list them now. He eats babies. He's a thinker. His handwriting is rather jagged. If I'm thinking of something that for some strange reason I don't feel comfortable saying out loud, he'll say it. He can't sing to save his life, but he doesn't let that stop him. He finds jealousy flattering. He's moved thousands of miles away, but we still communicate via five-plus mediums every day. We have similar taste in music. He gets excited about medieval manuscripts. He loves reading both comic books and heavy theory. He, uh, hasn't yelled at me to shut up yet about Doctor Who. He's a perfectionist when it comes to projects. He agreed to do this video blogging thing with me. He drinks tea. His stomach is a vacuum, sucking up everything in sight. He probably feels self-conscious because I pointed that out again. He gives good hugs. He's elitist. He craves attention. He's never on time for anything. He looks like Jude Law, but he doesn't even like Jude Law. He's a good conversationalist. He finds new hobbies, just dives into them, like cooking or drawing. He's long-winded. He likes the color blue. His arms have massive veins. We feed off each other. In a video, I can watch his attention get flagged by something in the picture and immediately know what it is. Like the swaying feet in the last video. I knew it like that. He gets started on a metaphor, and this builds it up and builds it up and just inflates it until all the original meaning is all but gone. But the extended metaphor is still fantastic. And those are my 30 facts of awesomeness. Yes. I'm doing this really early in the morning. I've been up for maybe an hour, because, yeah, you can tell, I'm still very freshly showered, because I have a paper to fix, and carnival to attend, and a phone call to have later, and a ceremony that I kind of feel obligated to go to as well. So it's going to be a busy day. Oh, and we need to do recycling. We haven't done it for like two weeks. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes. So, this is being done now. Ah, uh, for my question, if I was not going to be, if I were not going to be a librarian, what would be my alternate career? Uh, originally I was going to be a copy editor. For like two or three years I was set on being a copy editor, just reading novels and correcting people's grammatical mistakes. <laughs> But I'm not sure if I could handle being isolated in a cubicle for that long for the rest of my life, eight hours a day. I might have gone the English professor route, actually. As it is, it's going to be so weird going to college for things that aren't literature related. Well, you know. <laughs> I mean, I love working with teenagers, but there's that extra freedom with college students where you don't have to watch your language or the topics you're talking about or worry about what their parents might think. And I may have gone that door. Uh, could have been a children's lit professor and kind of combined things. Or I would have loved to teach urban fantasy for a living. Ah, I'm sure some college has to want that. Ah, that would be so good. <laughs> Uh, and for you, what would your coat of arms look like? Please draw it and color it. Thanks. Cheers.